So, welcome to the Mike and Cannon Show. We have a lot of things to talk about today. I want to get into it. First thing, in order of business of the Boston Celtics winning the championship. Uh, much to my dismay, I hate the Boston Celtics. I'll forever hate the Boston Celtics. I will ever, I will forever be a Boston Celtics hater as a Hawks fan, as a Kobe fan, as a LeBron fan, uh, uh, as somewhat a Knicks fan as long as they're going against the Celtics. I don't really like the Knicks either. All you people up Northeast are super obnoxious about your team. Oh, the Celtics are so great. GOAT franchise, yada, yada, yada. Whatever. But I got to give credit to where credit's due. The Celtics won the finals. So far, they're the best team of the 2020s. I don't want any debate about that. They have a nasty eight-man rotation. Drew Holiday, Jason Tatum, Brown, Hortford, White, Hauser, Chris Stapps, and Peyton Pritchard. That whole rotation is completely disgusting. They can all shoot. They all crash. They all give effort. They all rebound. They do everything it takes for you to win. They can do just about anything. Also, Coach Missoula, guy who deserves a lot of credit, he wins the title in his second season as head coach. First year, you guys were calling him, you guys were calling that man to be crucified his first year, right? After they lost to uh, the Miami Heat. And they're like, oh, Joe Missoula is terrible. He can't win a championship. To me, that was crazy. But in his second year as coach, he won a championship. Turns out he did it on a, a, a torn meniscus, which is kind of crazy. Uh, but either way, they did really well. Congrats, Joe Mazzulla. He's going to be around for a long time. I think the chance for a Celtics repeat. Let me address the elephant in the room, ladies and gentlemen. I think the chance for a Celtics repeat is higher, significantly higher, than it's been for any other team in the 2020s. Higher than the Nuggets. Higher than the Lakers. Higher than any other team in the 2020s. I think they have the highest chance to repeat by far this team is built to win they have the pieces to win and they can get a little bit better each year i think we could be watching the next dynasty right i think it could be the next dynasty and it would be much to my dismay because once again i will stress this entire video this entire segment i hate the boston celtics i'm the biggest celtics hater that you do know will know and that will ever exist but I do give credit to where credit is due. This team is built to win. This team has great players. They are so good that they don't even require their superstar to play like a superstar. The Boston Celtics have a chance to be the next dynasty. As far as the Mavericks, uh, a couple things we learned here. Kyrie, he's getting old. Luka's got to get in better shape. And the Mavs are one star away. I think Mavs general manager Nico Harrison should be on the phone with the agent of Anthony Day-to-Day, -day, A. Disney, whatever you want to call him, Anthony Davis, right now. Get him out of L.A. Anthony Davis in Dallas helps everybody. Everyone. I think it even helps L.A. I said a couple months ago, I think Los Angeles should blow it up and rebuild. That's what I think they should do. That's what I think. LeBron, you're old. You got to go. I'm sorry. A.D., you're not going to be our number one option. We ain't won a championship in four years. It ain't going to happen. L.A. needs to rebuild. I think the Mavericks could capitalize on that needing to happen. AD going to the Mavericks makes them a top three team. Dallas will be back at it. It'll be a very interesting offseason. Uh, Luka, on the other hand, played good on offense. Looks like the Pillsbury Doughboy on defense. We need you to lose weight, Luka. Luka, if you're going to be our star, we need you to play some defense. He looked good in game four. Every other game, he looked garbage. He looked terrible. It was a travesty, right? People get in front of Luka Doncic or Kyrie Irving, and they see food. They see Kyrie Irving guarding them and say, oh, I'm going to the basket. They see Luka Doncic guarding them and saying, oh, I'm going to get me an open shot. And I understand Luka. I understand that he was given a lot of effort on offense. He was injured, banged up the whole time. I understand that. But if you want to be a star in the NBA, you have got to play better defense. You got to at least get in somebody's way. Be a Curry-level defender. Steph Curry will get in your way. He ain't no, he's not no lockdown. I'm not asking you to be Gary Payton or Michael Jordan or LeBron. I'm just asking you to get in front of someone. That's it. I think Luka can do that. I also think he has to lose weight too. Uh, this series was a travesty for Kyrie Irving. It was awful. Uh, other than game three, it was terrible. Straight up. It was bad. Really bad. I don't know what it is about Boston, but every single time that dude goes into Boston, it's like he's forgotten how to shoot the basketball. It's like... It's like the Mavericks were pressured in ways we have never seen them pressured before. It was crazy to me. It was crazy. And, and Kyrie Irving, a guy who's super skilled, super clutch, I never expect that to happen to him. Seen to be on his woke path, you know, trying to be positive, shook the Celtics' hands. I love you, Kyrie, but you got to play better. 